Hi guys, I'm Godis Ntandi from Yokoze. I have a problem with this question. Uh, question 6, 6.2.2. It is here. It says prove without the use of a calculator again, a uh, ton of 45. So if you use a calculator, you just press in what ton 45 is and then write it down. So that's how I would see in this instance. Now, one of the key things here is when you're seeing this thing here, that would mean that you need to kind of leave it as that and try and see if it doesn't have an, an, angle, an angle that you can change to be 14 on the denominator or not. So that's one of the things you need to be thinking about. However, I will then say here my left hand side is equal to tan of 450 degrees multiplied by sine of 300 degrees multiplied by cos of 14 degrees multiplied by sine negative 135 degree and then divided by sine of 104 degrees times uh, cos I mean of 225 degrees. This is just to show what which side you're actually focusing on and what are you going to be doing to it so the first one here i will, can then say this is the same as tan of so guys if you remember on a cartesian plane this is 360 degrees 360 degrees plus 90 will then be 450 degrees which is somewhere there so 450 degrees would then mean that it's the same as 90 right so that's what i then um, have there which is something that you guys need to be thinking about please so what i will then have here is tan 450 degrees multiplied by uh, sine of 360 degrees minus uh, 60 degrees multiplied by cos of 14 as i said we're leaving it as is and then multiplied by, so negative is on the fourth quadrant, so this is a negative, then it will be negative sine of 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, and then all of this is divided by sine of, I can change this to be 90 degrees plus 14 degrees, because I'm trying to make it to be the same as the 14 on the numerator, and this will be cos of, um, 180 degrees plus 45 degrees and then this is then equals to so what I will then have here let's just verify something quickly on the calculator here if I have my tan 45 this is going to be a math error so I'm thinking there's a mistake that I made there but we'll fix it as we continue so for now let me just write it as tan 45 degrees 450 I mean 450 degrees and I'll fix it for you as we continue so this will then be a sine of 60 degrees multiplied by this is going to be a cos of 14 degrees multiplied by negative sine of 45 degrees all divided by a sine but this is a cos so 90 my 90 plus changes this to be a, a, a cos so this is going to be a cos of 14 degrees <clears throat> multiplied by 180 plus it's on the uh, third quadrant third quadrant cos is a negative so it's going to be a negative cos of 45 degrees so that's what i have there so far now i know that this and that are gonna divide each other and give me one and then from there, as I'm continuing, I'm going to have my tan 450 degrees multiplied by uh, the sine of that is going to be according to special angles. Let's go to our special angles. So it's 30 degrees, 60 degrees there. This is one. That is root of three and that is two so that would mean that sine of 60 is root of three divided by two so i have root three divided by two multiplied by that the negative and the negative will already be a positive so i don't have any negatives there but i know that that is one over root of two and all of this will be divided by this is going to be also one over uh, root of two now 
let's just go back and see what exactly we wanted to have here. So we wanted to have root of three, uh, three over two. And therefore, this and that are going to, is going to be one, and this is going to be equal to. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is that this is actually supposed not supposed to be this supposed to give me a tan uh, it's supposed to give me a root of three and root of three with tan it's normally tan of 60. so there's supposed to be a number that gives me tan of 60 which is a positive so it's supposed actually to be 420 and not 450 so i'm gonna make this to be 420 and see tan of 420 degrees is the same as tan of 360 degrees plus 60 degrees. So it is in the first quadrant. So it means this is actually root of 3 over 1 multiplied by root of 3 divided by 2 is equals to 3 over 2. Now, guys, one of the things is this is just a human error, which is me in this instance. However, the question paper will never make such a mistake. If it does, it means more marks for you, or rather they're taking those marks out. But I'm really sorry about this error, but that's what it was supposed to be actually 420 degrees. Now let's quickly go into the next question. The next question says prove that that's what I have there. So I will then say cos of 75 is the same as cos of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. This is the same as cos of 45 degrees cos of 30 degrees minus sine of 45 degrees multiplied by sine of 30 degrees. So this will then be equals to, so remember I'm taking the left hand side, sorry about that. And then this will be equals to, this is one over root of two multiplied by, this is going to be root of three divided by, um, root of three divided by two. So from my special angles, remember what I said with my special angles, cos of that will be adjacent over that g. Yes. So it's root of 3 divided by that. And then continuing will then be minus 1 over root of 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. To simplify this, I know this is the same as root of 2 over 2 and then multiplied by, so it's roughly going to be multiplied by root of six, uh, 3 there minus um, 1 multiplied by root of 2 over 2. So I can see that the denominators are the same, so it will just be 2 there, and this will be root of 2 into, I have root of 3 there minus 1, as you can see, because if I multiply, it will take it back to that. So this will then be equals to the right-hand side. So guys, I'm really sorry about the error that we had. However, you guys can see what exactly it was supposed to be. And also with this, you just change it to be a compound angle. And that's all I have right now. Let's go into an ad break and I'll be back with our last question for the show.